Lots of rainfall is expected, at least for the next couple of days in a row. And chances are we are going to be seeing some tropical strength winds, at least here in southwest Florida. Right now, here's what we know. We have tropical storm Milton that did form earlier in the day. Still wind speeds of 40 miles per hour. It is moving currently very slowly in the southwestern portion of the Gulf, only at 3 miles per hour. But over the next day or so, it is going to considerably, considerably strengthen as it pushes across portions of the Gulf. It could even become a major hurricane before making landfall somewhere along our coastal area of either the Tampa area here, southwest Florida, or even in the Big Bend. That's going to be the area that we are going to be watching for this potential landfall. Timing wise, it's going to be Wednesday that we have the chance to see this landfall from Milton. So I know this did seem like it happened really fast, but we do still have time to prepare um, as we are still a couple of days away from making this potential landfall. So right now, a lot of our spaghetti models are actually showing it pushing into the Gulf of Mexico and making landfall somewhere towards the Tampa area. But we all know that things can change over the next couple of days. So looking at our model plots currently, so spaghetti models, model plots, it's the same thing. It shows it pushing towards the Gulf in an easterly manner before trying to start to turn a little bit further north. Most of these models are indicating a little bit north of the Tampa area, but there still is the chance that it could come here to southwest Florida. Chances are on the lower side for that landfall, but we are still watching it and monitoring the potential to see that. So that's what our current um, model plots look like and what that cone looks like. Currently, no tropical watches or warnings are in effect just yet. We do have this flood watch, though, that is issued all across southwest Florida. So coming up in just a couple of minutes, we'll show you how much rain we're expecting and other impacts you could expect in your neighborhood.